guys are there. They only breed you a lovely story. So we're the Salmon of Knowledge. Now, the Salmon of Knowledge is a very, very, very old Irish story. And it's an Irish legend. A legend is a story which some parts might be true, some parts might not be true. We don't really know. But most countries have legends um, of their own. And this is one of our Irish legends. So the Salmon of Knowledge, retold and illustrated by Selina Buckley. That means Selina Buckley didn't actually write this story. This is a very old story, like I said, but she's just telling it in her own words and she's drawn her own lovely pictures. Well, made her own lovely picture, pictures, I should say. And Selina Buckley is actually Mrs. Buckley's sister. So there's a nice little fact for you. So here's her story, The Salmon of Knowledge. Long ago, in a deep, dark forest, nine hazel tree trees grew over an ancient well of wisdom. One day, the wind blew nine hazelnuts into the well, and an ordinary salmon swallowed them all up. Upon doing this, the salmon knew all the knowledge and secrets of the world. The first person to taste of the salmon of knowledge would in turn gain all the knowledge and secrets of the world. Over the years, many people heard about the salmon of knowledge, but nobody could ever find it. A wise poet named Finnegus wanted to catch the Salmon of Knowledge too. He was considered to be one of the wisest men in all the land. Despite this, he was still determined to know all the knowledge and secrets of the world. He made his home beside the river and spent most of his days trying to catch the Salmon of Knowledge. One day, as Finnegus was fishing, he noticed a young boy walking by the edge of the forest. His name was Fionn. He wanted to become a great warrior. If a boy had not been taught to be an elderly poet, he was not considered a warrior. So Finnegus agreed to teach Fionn, but he never told him about the Salmon of Knowledge. Over the years, Finnegus showed Fionn how to become a warrior. While Fionn learned these skills, Finnegus never stopped searching for the salmon of knowledge. Jump over a branch as tall as yourself. Race through the forest without breaking a twig. Learn 12 books of poetry off by heart. Pull a thorn out of your foot while running. Run under a branch as high as your knee. Defend yourself against nine warriors while buried waist high with just a shield and a hazel stick. Take no dowry with the wife. One morning, a flicker of orange rippled across the smooth water waters of the river. Finnegus jumped to his feet. The wait was over. The salmon had come. He crawled to the water's edge and holding his breath, he dipped his fishing rod deeper into the riverbed. With a sharp crack, his fishing rod bent, and the salmon was his. Finnegus was exhausted after catching the salmon. He asked Fionn to clean and cook the salmon and to wake him up when it was ready. He warned Fionn not to taste the salmon until after he'd had the first bite. Then he promised they would share a fine meal together. This seemed fair to Fionn, and he began preparing the meal straight away. Not long after Fionn began cooking the fish, he noticed a blister bubbling up through the scales. And without thinking, he pressed his thumb hard on it and he burst it. And with a sharp cry of pain, he sucked on his thumb to soothe the burn. Fionn continued to cook. When the salmon was ready, he woke Finnegus. Finnegus had waited a long time for this moment and he quickly ate a piece of salmon. 
but to his surprise, he didn't feel any different or wiser. Finnegus looked at Fionn and he noticed something strange about him. He asked him if he had eaten any of the salmon and Fionn said he hadn't, just that he had asked. When Finnegus asked if he had tasted even a tiny bit of the salmon, Fionn suddenly remembered the blister. Finnegus's heart sank with disappointment as he heard Fionn's words. Finnegus could not teach Fionn anything more than he already knew. So Fionn packed up his things and he thanked Finnegus for all his help. Fionn became the greatest and the most knowledgeable warrior in all the land. And from that day on, the story of Fionn and the Salmon of Knowledge spread across the roaming hills and the deep glens, where it is said the nine trees grow above the well to this very day. The end. So boys and girls, take a look at Seesaw for what you need to do next. I hope you enjoyed the story. It's a good one.